Dwight Robinson. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Good evening, Commissioners. My name is Blake Robinson. I reside, well, permanently reside, at uh, 3819 Troll Road. I'm, as some of y'all know, I'm in college. I've come up here a few times, but this time, uh, I'm actually coming up here with something that I'd really like for you as Commissioners, and especially yourself, uh, Ms. Dukes, to consider. Um, and that would be the Georgia County Internship Program that is offered through the Association of County Commissions of Georgia. Um, and I've, I've been doing a little bit of research on it, and I looked into it, and I, f and I was wondering why we didn't have that program uh, as a county that not only has a university, uh, but also has a sizable youth population. Um, which is something new. Uh, but just to run down a few facts and a little bit of information about the program itself, so y'all can take that into consideration a bit. Uh, the mission of the program is to offer first-hand internship experiences to undergraduate and graduate-level college students uh, in county government. And each summer internships, or each summer internship, um, is offered across a broad spectrum of academic disciplines, ranging from accounting uh, to wildlife sciences in county government offices throughout the state. And since the state was created, in, since the program <laughs> was created in 2010. Uh, 500 students have filled internship positions in 87 counties throughout the state. And so, the, some goals of, of the program are that it enables counties to hire talented young college students for specific projects that will benefit county government and its citizens. Uh, it gives students a chance to learn firsthand about the role of counties and functions of local government. It provides practical work experiences that the students can use in the job market upon graduation and it inspires young people to a life in public service leadership. And so, uh, just what I saw on the, on the website when I accessed it last month, because uh, that's when I started looking into this, uh, there were 11 counties that, there were 11 open positions across 11 different counties uh, that were participating as of, as of May of 2023. And now, the program itself is, is a paid internship program that's funded through a grant, and so, in this case, the, the cost of the program is $2,400, and that's paying the interns $12, $12 an hour uh, for, their, for their time. Uh, and that includes uh, FICA and a WC supplement as well. And to receive the grant, interns must be doing hands-on projects and that advance the mission of the county. And, that's, and the reason why I mention that is because, you know, sometimes interns usually get put to clerical work. I should know I'm doing that now, kind of. <laughs> Um, and but it also says that one one mistake to avoid is projects that are mostly data entry and administrative work. So for for this, there are three types that you can the, of internship program that you could that we could possibly consider. Sorry, uh, and that's a general internship that could go anywhere, and then an environmental management focused internship, and then a health and human services focused internship. And so with that in mind. Um, I I had two ideas that I thought the I would love for you all to consider, and we could I definitely love to meet with with members of the commission to talk about this. Uh, but my first proposal, my first idea, is an internship that is that is specifically focused on one office or department. So, for example, working with the county manager's office, um, working with you know public works or utilities or the county attorney or you know whatever. Um, and then my my second thought would be that maybe we maybe an intern could work across or, or with the board directly. So working with the numerous commissioners on maybe a project that may, maybe a commissioner or two want to see want to see happen in the county uh, or the board as a whole. And so I just wanted to bring that forward to you for consideration. And I believe I put on there an action an action item that I suggested which was to consider uh, this program. So I would love to, to speak with any of you further about the program after the meeting or over the next few months. Thank you. Thank you, sir.